night light. Hey, welcome back. It's getting hot. 89 degrees in the shop. A couple things I want to talk about. First, um, last video, not too many people watched it on test indicators, but that's okay. But a comment was left uh, when I was talking about small movements, two tenths of a thou and so on. And the comment was left, when you see the big dial indicator, it's open, there's a groove in there, and it's play in the groove. And sure enough, if I take the shaft and I try to twist it, I'm getting one to two tenths worth of movement. So the play, the cause of it is the dial indicator, and it's that little groove in there. And I looked at it, and there's nothing I can do to really tighten it up more. And it does, the shaft doesn't turn that much at all, let me tell you. Um, Ham radio, the face of ham radio has sure changed. You know, I've got bought my radios and my old radios out and restored them. But there's a program called Echo Link, which you download, install it in your computer. Um, you have to upload a, the electronic copy of your FCC license to activate the program, and you wait. I only had to wait about a day before somebody opened it up and said, yeah, it's legitimate, and activated my copy. But in it, I guess there's a lot of radio stations all over the planet that are all connected through the internet to the Echo Link program. So I'll show a quick little screen of it back here. I just click on Australia, and here's a list of all the stuff, and you just talk to whoever you want in Australia. So. If you guys want to get into ham radio, you don't have to buy a radio or anything. You just use your computer. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Update on the lathe. The little saddle gadget, gadget that I had made is on there. I did do the other set screws on the bottom. And I have the four 1 8 ball bearings in place. And it is making a difference there. The cuts are different. It's hard to explain, but it's different. And the other thing is, on the bottom set screws, all I did was just run them up until it just touched both of them, and I just left it alone. I haven't Loctited it yet, so I know the screws can move. But when you crank the saddle to the extreme ends, it gets stiff, it gets tight. So it only takes a few thousands to make it tight. So the saddle is thin in the middle and thicker on the outside edges and I'm guessing that's why when I showed that bottom plate that was originally there has grooves in it on the edges because it was hitting the extremes and it was wearing grooves in it. And if you see behind me, I have some leftover mahogany and decided I'm going to make a nice little five drawer chest cabinet for the electronic bench. Should come out nice. I hope I'm going to do my best work on it and make it really nice and sweet. So, uh, This video I said I was going to show the AM Pro camera on the stereoscope. So that'll be the last part of this video. Later. I don't know if you can read any of that until I edit it, but hopefully. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit more. Boom. There. You probably can read that. <clears throat> but this is the program, Echo Link. And you can see all the places you can go here. North America, Europe. I mean, you can just click on the stuff here. Here's St. Martin in the Caribbean. Uh, United States, people are all over the place. Pennsylvania, North Carolina. All you have to do is just double click connect. And just start talking. If somebody's they're listening, you can have a conversation with them. I was already talking to somebody in um, England, which was kind of fun. But so, Mexico, geez, um, Tijuana, all over the place, Barbados, South America, Argentina, Brazil, any place on this planet pretty much so, because everybody's got ham radios or a link to it or something so that's just a quick overview of this program even Africa oh Jesus South Africa so you don't have to have a ham radio guys 
Alright, like I say about Amazon, I don't get it, but sometimes prices are just wrong, or do they do it out of control? So I kept looking for the AM scope for a camera uh, to look at video, live video, for the AM Pro stereo um, scope that I have. And they were all sixty, seventy dollars, and all of a sudden one day I stumbled across here it is, AM scope. Brand new, still live video USB camera, and it's at $21.56. All the research I did, it seemed like that's the camera. It's got the adapter, so it should fit. So I'll take a chance. I paid $23.28 for it, and I'll show you the camera. But now you click on this link, and the camera is $79.98, $80 for this camera. So I got a screaming deal on it, uh, and I still can't believe, I was always, when I was looking too, I wanted a higher resolution, this is 640 by 480, and I can't believe with today's technology that that's what they're producing for a camera for $80, it should have been a lot higher than that, I was hoping for twice the resolution, but, alright, so let me take you over to the camera itself. Well, there's the box for it, and I opened it up a while ago because I had messed with it, but it came in a really nice box. Nice foam insulation and so on here. And you probably cut that up and make something out of it, but they give you, um, I guess, a little slide. I'm not sure what's on it to look at. A lot of caps and things. The two adapters are down in there. And this is the camera, and wow, this is not a cheap camera. This is all metal, and this whole thing is really heavy in my hand. The optics are gorgeous, the glass on it. So this was the uh, 30 and a half millimeter adapter that just slides on there with an O-ring here. And this just drops down into the, the thing itself, and they give you the USB cable with it, heavy duty cable. So, uh, this thing to me would be worth more than $80 with the quality of this thing. They even have stickers on there straight. Does it say made someplace? No. Ultra fine color engine inside, microscope, digital camera, blah blah blah. Huh. 5 volts DC, quarter amp. Alright, well, let me drop it into the uh, stereoscope. Alright, there it is. And I guess I'll just kind of pre focus on something. I was looking at this slide they gave, and it's some kind of a scale. One division equals 0 0.01 millimeter. Really? Alright, where is it? There it is. Ah. Alright, focus it up. Wrong way. Alright, well, I focused on that. But I have no clue what's in the middle of it. But you just take the lens out, drop the camera in. I'm not sure which way is upside right, but it just drops right in there. All right, take you over to the laptop here. All right, hopefully that's got enough of light on it. Of course, it's backwards. I just realized there's a little circle. So I don't know what they're saying here. One division is 0.01 millimeters, or what in the world that is in the center. But it's focused, and uh, it's crisp, let me tell you that. Why am I reflecting something? It took a minute to figure out how to rotate the camera so when I move the part it goes right. But you can see all these controls. This is crazy. Computer and gain. Auto exposure is on. Wow. Defaults, gain, white balance. Close that one up. Color, alignment. Hue, I can change the hue on it. Yeah, you can do all kinds of things. Look at this. Holy moly. 
brightness, you can make it brighter, darker. Wow. Making it darker it looks nicer. <laughs> Contrast, defaults, just click on that. So you've got the ability to do absolutely anything with this. Let me try getting something underneath there other than that. Alright, there we are. Focus on that. There we go. That is pretty wild, let me tell you. Is that focus good? No. There. You can really see the edges of this insert here. Jeez. You can probably see all the dirt and stuff inside. Yeah, there's a brass chip down in the screw. <laughs> brightness, I need some more brightness. Where is it? Color management, white balance. That wasn't it. Fire frequency, color. There it is, brighter. Yeah, you can really make it bright. But this is, a, man, look at all the chips down in here. <laughs> They're all over the place. Power, frequency, anti-flicker. I guess I can record this or I can take a snapshot of it. Bit depth. I don't think there's anything left in these menus that you cannot adjust. Cooling? What's cooling? Target temperature, fan on, off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this controls the fan, huh? Alright, well that's basically the uh, the camera and the software. When I opened the box up there was no software in it, but you can go on their website and they had the software right there, so I just downloaded it and yeah, I broke the tip off of that, that end. Boy, you can see that right there, gone. The only thing, like I said, I wish it was a little bit more resolution than 640 by 480, but all in all, I'm very pleased with this camera and what I can do with it. So, if you guys like, go get one.